In this module, we're going to take a deep dive look at the controller in Spring Boot. This controller fits into the model view controller design pattern, which is probably one of the best known design patterns, at least in the top three or top five. It's one that most developers are going to know. So the reason why I want to focus on the controller at this point is let's consider how the controller relates with the model in the view. Well, the view is typically something that is XML based or HTML based, or could even be something that's machine readable and machine producible like JSON. But if you think about our project, usually you'll have one person focused on that view and focused on the look and feel. The model is the data. Now, where do we get the data? We get the data from the persistence layer. So if we take a look at this class diagram here, we're essentially working on this controller. Uh, this is our logic for the user interface, and then there will additionally be a series of HTML pages or JSON files or the like. And then the model is coming down here from our service and from our DAO. Now we have not built that service or DAO yet, uh, and we're just gonna stub a few things out. So I don't mean to give the impression that all of this exists, but that's why we're focusing on the controller now so that that can be the golden nail that holds everything together. So a couple things I wanna look at, and I'll start with the demonstration because while you're seeing this video first, it's the last one I'm recording so I can show you what you're about to see in the future videos. So first of all, take a look at this. We have just a plain old page, like web page, you see IP address port, and then we have the endpoint start, and then we have loyalty equals silver. Notice when I refresh this, we get some kind of HTML page, a control U, and you can see it's HTML. Now let's change a couple things. Let's change this from loyalty equals silver to loyalty equals blue. The only difference here in the look and feel is that we're not showing a specimen. And that specimen is actually an object. It's a Java object that we are using Spring Boot to present in this fashion. So it would be kind of interesting to see how that works. So let me take off the loyalty equals blue and go to start. And what do we see here? Well, gosh, we have that same information from that same Java object, but now it's expressing itself as JSON. So it's a JSON format that we're looking at. So these are different endpoint configurations, and that's what we're going to go over in this module. Let's try one more just for SMGs. So if I say add specimen, what do we get? We get some kind of information here. Again, a little bit of welcome text, and we get some information down below, which I'll just go ahead and read it off because it's not really labeled. So a, a specimen ID, a latitude, which you see is zero, a longitude, which is minus 8451, and then a description. Okay, but look at this, what happens now? If I say question mark, and then I say latitude equals 52, notice that that 0.0, .0 turns to 52. I can make this whatever I want. If I wanna say foo, it's going to change to foo. So you see what we're doing here is we're taking these values from the URL and we're essentially putting them into the page, but we're using a true Java object to do that. So here are the videos. I have them both in Blackboard and also on the playlist if you don't have Blackboard access. Uh, so we start with this intro video, which obviously is not there yet because I'm recording it now, but by the time you play it, it will be there. Okay. Uh, then we go to an overview of request mapping, REST and Spring Boot. This is just laying the picture of what we're going to do. Then we take a look at Postman, which is way cool, a really good way to debug these endpoints and see what's going on under the covers. Look at params and headers. We look at auto wire. Auto wire is where we have a variable and we push a, an object into that variable using Spring and Spring actually decides which object to push into that variable. That is absolutely core to what Spring is. Uh, use model to push Java object to HTML and Spring Boot. This is where we have a DTO and we're just throwing it to the HTML template and we're saying, okay, take it away, show this to the user. Response body is how we really easily uh, create JSON. As a matter of fact, this video is about five minutes. I think it's less than five minutes. And that's all it takes to create a JSON stream in Spring Boot once you have a populated Java object. After that, the request param annotation, that's the way where we can take a value from the URL and we can place it into our page or we can access it one way or another. So a lot of really cool things. And the idea here is this should be enough information to get all users or all programmers able to work together and see how these different components are gonna to work together in a true microservice or a true enterprise application. So I think this is gonna be a fun module and definitely look forward to your feedback. Thank you.